Hello fellow musicians, today we're going to take a look at the Motif XF8. The Yamaha Motif XF8 is well known in industry as a keyboard, but it's not just a keyboard. It's a synthesizer and it's a music workstation that has made a significant impact in the music production industry. The release and design of this beast is rock solid. I've had mine since 2010. That's going on 14 years. It hasn't even got a scratch. It is extremely durable. It features an 88 key balanced hammer effect keyboard, which makes it ideal for both synth playing and serious piano playing. The sound engine is rock solid as well. It boasts a comprehensive sound engine with a massive wave ROM that includes realistic and high quality sounds ranging from acoustic instruments to electronic sounds. When it comes to its sequencing capabilities, it has a 16-track sequencer that's highly regarded for both live and studio applications, and today I'm going to be demoing the sequencing capabilities of the motif. In fact, the sounds that you hear in the background are the sounds I'm going to be creating. I put together a sequence just using four tracks, and it allows for recording and editing both MIDI and audio data. If you look on this channel, you'll find other videos where I have used the Motif XF8 sounds to sequence using the Trident. So when it comes to using the sounds from the Motif, very accessible, you can sequence on other keyboards and pull in those sounds via MIDI. It's still very relevant. Despite newer models and brands emerging, the Yamaha Motif XF8, in my mind, is extremely relevant due to its exceptional sound quality, its robust build and its extensive customization options, and its status as a tried and tested tool among professional musicians. Its integration capabilities with modern technology also ensure that it stays useful in contemporary music production. The sounds, the drum sounds, very today, still today. Some names you might have heard associated with the motif are the late Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder for sure, you've definitely seen Stevie use this thing, and Elton John. And this showcases its versatility and popularity among top artists. Well, let's jump in and let me show you how to sequence on the motif XF8. Welcome, friends. We are working on the Motif XF8, and I'm going to show you, hopefully very quickly, how to sequence on this thing, okay? Now, there are two modes of sequencing on the Motif. You have the mode that we call the Song Mode, and we have the mode called the Pattern. So, I'm going to show you how to do both. Let's first jump into the song mode. Click on song and here you can see on the screen it takes you to the song. And the very first song we have here, let's play it. This is one of the factory presets. Nice, huh? Okay. So you can see the numbering up there. We can use the dial you just go all the way up, all the way up, and let's see what's on 20. Let's see what this one is. To live with honor, you can see the title over there. But this is another one, another factory preset. Let's keep going. All right, so it's kind of blank up here. Let's see the last song I did. Okay, 24. What's Okay, 25. So 25 is blank, as you can see. So what we're going to do now is assign instruments to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And to do that, you come over to this side of the keyboard with one selected. Choose the category over there. And over here, you want to select something you want. For me, I'm going to use these arrows to select a drum kit that I want. So scroll down to drum percussion, and I'm just going to go for the new hip hop kit, too. Okay. I 
I just use whatever I can get from there, okay? So that's the first, let's hit enter, and that's the, the first track. So that's drums. Now if I press two, it goes to the next instrument. And here, again, category, use the up and down arrows to select something you want. For me, it's gonna be one of the bases. I'm gonna do active P. When you've got it selected, remember to hit enter and that sets it for you. So, it's got some stops and wipes. Pretty cool sound. All right, then we go to the third track. Third track, I'm going to choose, again, using categories, and let's go to the keys. Let's check out hard vintage. It's not bad. Let's choose that, hit enter. Okay, so now I have three instruments staggered. I'm going to choose a fourth one, category again, and over here, I'm going to woodwinds, and I want a flute, sweet flute. All right, and hit enter again. And now I can begin my sequence. But just remember that you have options over here. That's the record button. When you hit record, it shows this. And you've got the record type on replace, which means whenever you're recording, you are replacing. You've got the count in measure, which I believe is set to probably four or one. So after one, two, three, four, then it brings you in. And uh, we're just gonna try that. The quantize is off. You can always turn the quantize on if you want to, but I'm gonna leave it off. And let's get rolling. So I'm gonna exit. To go back, oh, I think that's it. Once you stop, the screen goes back. But once you hit this, the screen changes, okay? So I'm gonna hit play, and then it's going to count. You can see the metronome up there is set to 120. You wanna use the wheel to bring it down or up, depending on what you are recording. I'm gonna make this a 90. Okay, so it's, that's it. And I'm just gonna hit record, play, and then it's gonna count me in. So watch what happens when I press play, but I need to, need to make sure it's on track one. Okay. Something like that. So that's eight bars, and I'm going to put in bass now. Okay. All of a sudden, I want something else, something, yeah, round wound is a good one. So let's go ahead, play the bass on top of that on the key of, let's do G minor. Three and go. Okay, 
Now, if I wanted to overdub some of the wipes, because I wasn't getting the wipes I wanted, I wanted it like that, I can actually overdub by, instead of here, where you see replace, I can choose to overdub, and now I can play that wipe that I was looking for. So I'm going to hit record, and I'm going to overdub this. All right, so I've got my wipes, and now I'm going over to track three. And I don't want this to remain in overdub. So I am going to change this back to replace, okay? Now I'm going to play some piano on top of that, so let's go. So eight bars, and now we have some flute, which I will use to solo over it. Um, but it's just a very short demo for this. So why don't we go ahead and I'll play it. Two, three, go. <laughs> That's it, and I've recorded eight bars, and I could take those eight bars if I wanted to, and I could repeat them over and over again. Now, I'm just gonna show you what was played, and hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can uh, at least get the first part of the sequence down. All right, so let's listen. <laughs> a little break and end the first video and um, I hope you learned something I hope you learned how to at least get your initial sequence down and just remember when your sequence is done don't forget to hit stall and it'll ask you if you want to do that and hit enter and are you sure hit yes and complete it. Now you can move on from here anywhere else you want.